Hi everyone, my name is Jens. Um, I'm with Laka, I'm one of the co-founders of Three. And uh, we launched um, beginning of this year. We're running a roughly one and a half years before. We then got our finally our license and now trading since January. And what we are all about, I will tell you right now. So we believe that um, insurance is fundamentally misaligned if you think about the underwriter and the actual consumer. And um, the reason for that is because fundamentally, if you as a consumer pay for your insurance month over month, probably you're locked in for a year. And then if you come actually to the claim, it never feels good. It always feels like I'm begging to get some money back, especially I'm getting it back. It's, of course, insurance is about mutualization. You feel good, should good about it. And products like Motor, high claims um, ratio work well for consumers because it's very efficient. Other products like niche products, claims ratios are very low. So what that actually means is a lot of customers are actually paying in and getting very little value out. So what we do is we really turn insurance on its head and we gave it a community-based twist, what it really should be, a mutualized agreement between people who share risk. So. Our first product is theft, damage, and loss cover for high-end bikes. We launched it, as I said, beginning in, uh, of this year. And what we do is, um, when you're a cyclist, you join us, and you join a community of cyclists. Um, we protect your bike and your gear, as you would think an insurer does. Um, when you bring your friends on board, you get rewarded for that. dual side reward, so that means you get more free insurance. Now, we come to the pricing. There are no fixed fees up front. Every month, we look at how many claims have there been, we sum them all up, and split them fairly across equals. These are really, when you pay something, you pay for another cyclist. But, very important, we lock in your maximum price. And we locked it around market rate, so that's even better. So now, everyone in our risk pool only pays maximum as much as he would pay with, uh, with the competitor. Best case, they actually pay zero. And that happens four out of eight months. And with bicycles, that's our first test case. So this is an average cu uh, customer who has a 2,200 pound bike. For us, a high-end bike is everything above 1,000 pounds. And we cover up to 10,000 pounds in bicycles. Um, the reality is that this is a product which would classically make a lot of profit for the, uh, for the broker. And we take that completely out and give it back to the customer. We still run fairly, we obviously run fairly efficiently, use all the new technologies, which makes this possible, which makes us still break even while taking very little money. Now, we also look very detailed at our customers. So this data on the right is actually, um, is taken from Strava, which is the largest cycling community on the world. So when someone signs up to us, they sign up with Strava. They can also sign up with Facebook or with email, for example, but Strava is the preferred one. And then we can generate something like journey maps. We actually know where they cycle. If they commute to work, where they live, um, if that matches, for example, the, uh, the home address they gave us. So this additional data really gives us a good indicator of who to acquire from a risk pool perspective to drive the claims ratio around, uh, around an area where we want it to be, so where we can save a lot of money for our customers. It's less so about, um, obviously, also than about finding fraud. If someone claims, avoiding that is really important to us, because in the end, what we want to be is really generous with our real customers and fighting fraud as much as we can, as hard as we can. Now, Pulling in all of this data from Strava, from Facebook, from other sources, um, we also work with Instagram and with LinkedIn, have done already in our, in our claims validation process, and it works really, really well. Things like someone, someone falls during a race from his bike and uh, actually has broken a collarbone, looking quickly into his Instagram profile and seeing the x-ray validates the claim pretty quickly. So that saves us time uh, across the whole process. We've paid claims out within, within an hour, but it can also sometimes take uh, weeks, depending on if the bike has to be assessed, et cetera. But what we fundamentally try to do with this, with this data, acquiring the right customers, and then long-term developing them into these kind of risk pools, silver, gold, platinum, et cetera. And what that means is, if you only get uh, grouped together with people like you who take care, you should only take pay for these people. If you are with more conscientious people, you will automatically pay less, because you only pay for the costs which are actually induced by the members. So um, we have been on a long journey. Uh, we went th through Startup Bootcamp, have been supported by Anthemis as well. Um, went through the FCA sandbox through the second cohort. 
Oh, now I realized I talked, <laughs> not in the microphone, sorry about that. Uh, we raised a pre-seed round with EOS Venture Partners, and uh, Zurich is our underwriter. We then graduated the sandbox and raised our seed round uh, just recently. Um, in both rounds, we got supported by Bron Jacobson, so thank you so much. Um, and I guess in the last piece, there's also a little bit what is happening next for us. Because um, Tune Protect, probably most of you don't know it, it's the underwriter of um, Air Asia, one of the largest low cost airlines on this planet. So, what we're obviously going to do next, with our pre seed round money, we um, looked at bicycle products. With our seed round currently, we're expanding that to Malaysia. This is our first second market, which is, is a bit odd, obviously, <laughs> but that is because of our investment partner. So with them together, we're going to roll out more products in Malaysia and then bring these back again to the UK. And um, something interesting in that, in that respect is obviously also with the whole Southeast Asia, Malaysia is a very, um, um, is a strong country in terms of um, Muslims, so is Indonesia. So there's a whole proposition around Takaful and um, how you essentially do a sort of Takaful before, maybe a Okay, so um, it's basically, um, it comes from, from Islamic finance, it's the alternative model to insurance, to insure Muslim, because essentially what you can't earn is interest income. What insurers today earn is interest income. So um, our model is out of the box because we don't charge anything up front, but only the actual cost, we don't earn that. So it's 100% compliant and, <laughs> sorry, yeah. Exactly. We have a, finally have a halal high-end bicycle insurance. <laughs> now, obviously, high-end bicycle insurance is, 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 gonna not, is not going to be the target product. So we're going to adapt that to the local market with our local partners. Um, have formed a great partnership um, with our underwriter for that and going to um, then build new products end of this year, beginning of next year um, in the local market. This is our team. Um, we are now 15 people in total, so uh, we have brought some on board in Malaysia as well. Um, have our tech hub sitting now in Bristol. Uh, we just made some amazing hires from, uh, from some lifestyle companies and uh, from Rafa, the largest cycling co um, company on this, or like one of the best cycling companies on the planet, uh, to really drive that also home and like bring this community character out. Because that's really important to us, that people can talk to each other and really feel like they belong to something. We have a Strava cycling club. We have a Facebook group where people can, can talk to each other. Um, we have regular write-ups with our, with our customers, so that's really, they feel that they belong to something, and that, again, helps off uh, driving down fraud or driving down overstating. To be fair, we didn't have any problems with, uh, with fraud, but uh, of course, if you reach scale, um, there will be more of a problem. That's it from me. Thank you. Uh, two, we've had two great presentations. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.